Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. So today, I'm going to be doing some TikTok food hacks. Um, Nicole and I are quite hungry. We definitely didn't just go to the shops to get these ingredients. We definitely had them in our cupboards. No, we didn't. Right, so the first one I'm going to be doing is the Oreo cake. Um, so, I'm going to crack on that now. So, what you're going to need? A cup, milk, Oreos. And before anyone says anything, yes, I am very sunburned. Um, stupid Marcus decided not to wear some tank cream yesterday, so very good. So, get your cup, add four Oreos in there. Don't know why four, but that's what everyone seems to be using. And then you can crush it up. Got the fork. I mean, ooh. <laughs> what do you reckon? Do you think it's going to taste nice? Mm, not sure. <laughs> Probably not. Marcus is, can I just say, Marcus is the worst cook in the world. So. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, I'm, I've got no specialities in cooking. The collars all are cooking because the is so bad. So, I think that's getting now. It takes a bit while. I wonder if it'd be easier to crush it by hand. Probably. You, what you should do is put it in a bag and bash it with a rolling pin. So, if you're doing this yourself, put it in a bag and then smash it with a rolling pin, as anyone just said. <laughs> Like a sandwich bag. Yeah, it could have just taken forever. Like when you're doing like a biscuit base for... Yeah, exactly. That's a, yeah, see. Like a cheesecake. See, that's clever. But, you know. We're just doing what That's not what they say does. on TikTok, so. Look at this. There you go. All crushed up. Get your milk. Just kind of wing... I'm kind of winging this uh, milky bit, but, you know. Just going to pour it in. Stop. In it goes. You put too much in there. Oh, don't you worry about that. A little bit of a smix. Smix? Bit of a mix. That's so much milk. Follow me over to the microwave. I, I know everyone's going to say, wow, your kitchen looks so clean. Yep, I did clean it this morning. Chuck it in the microwave. Put it on for, I forget. I do. And then whilst this is uh, counting down, we're going to say it's like, subscribe, and comment. Any uh, life hacks you want me to do next? All right, last 10 seconds. The buzzer's beating down. Well, I'm hoping it's going to taste good, Nicole. I'm hoping. I'm not sure. You put a lot of milk in. Yeah, a bit too much milk. Mm, I don't know. Oh god, it's still <laughs> Wait, you obviously need to play it for longer. Oh, back in it goes. Did I give it a mix, Owen. I did. That tastes like... Milky? Soggy. Oh yeah. Lovely. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. So put it back in for another minute. And yeah, we'll see how we go on the second. Oh look. Jesus, that was lucky. What? Literally nearly exploded over the top. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. That's looking not bad. So it's meant to be like a cake. It looks really cakey. <laughs> um, see that... <laughs> oh, it's like... Do you reckon longer? Mm, possibly it is going. Every time you put it in, it goes. All right, let's put it a little bit longer. Then. Mix it up though. Try and get as much heat out of it as possible. Yeah. So we have this problem. Just listen to Nicole. Because otherwise it will just blow over. That tastes worse than what it did a minute ago. <laughs> oh! I feel like I'm cooking a souffle. Why have you only put it in for 15 seconds? Because it was bubbling oh. over. So I was meant to. I don't know. I think you put too much milk in. I think it's more like cake like. Alright, that would be fine. Okay. I think you put too much um, milk in, if I'm honest. Okay, so. TikTok hack number one. Did not go to plan. The Oreo cake has turned a little bit. Well, a bit bushy. How's it taste? Didn't burn your mouth. 30 puffs, that's what I tell my kids at school. How many? 30. <laughs> I'd be like, you're like, edit after that. That's not good. Let me try. Go and give that a try then, babe. 30 puffs. Oh. <laughs> that's not what it's That texture. <laughs> okay, so I'm not gonna lie, the first one. Uh, oh, the taste isn't too bad. Do you like it, do you? It takes it mad, it's the texture. What we've learned from this, Nicole, is I cannot do portions of milk. So put less milk in that I just put you in. You literally just need a dash. Oh. Not fill up. 
I could burnt myself. Okay. Right, on to the next one. So the first one of the Oreos didn't go quite to plan. Um, it just shows I can't cook. So we're moving on to the next one. The next one is like this Nutella peanut butter sandwich thing in the toaster. Toaster. So we're going to move on to do that one right now. What you will need. Nutella. Peanut butter of your choice. Um, people did like loaf bread, but we're having some soup in a minute, so we got some tiger loaf to go with the soup. So we got tiger bread. Right, if you're doing this, be careful. You can only use a sharp knife, or you can just pick it off on the edges, whatever you're going to do. But I'm going to use a sharp knife. I've so, got a responsible adult of Nicole there. So what are you using the sharp knife for? I'm using the sharp knife to cut off the, um... Crust. To cut off the crusty bits. So I can then make like a, like a little toasty sandwich. Hey Bruno, you like crust? Class. So, whilst Nicole's been entertaining adults, I've been cutting off the uh, clusty, f clusty, <laughs> clusty. Oh, yep, definitely cut that bit there. Oh god, I'm terrible at cutting. That tongue out. <laughs> Concentration tongue. Right. So, on to the first bit. So you want to put. So from the videos, they put each one. They put a bit of. Pin the butter on one. That shaking skill, see that? Just boop, boop. Mm, tasty. Put one pin the butter on there, and then on the other one, I put a bit of Nutella. This is gonna be perfect for Poppy. <laughs> Poppy loves Nutella. That's Nicole's sister. All right. And then you got put that one on top of that one. For that, boom. And then, use a fork, and go around the sides, so... It's like a pop tart. Yeah. Or like a, this is like a sweet Cornish pasty. And if you're not from England, it's like a pasty. So once you've gone round, oh and silk the edges, oh this is going to go everywhere this is. Just go around pinching it as well. Right, so I've got my, uh, my Cornish pasty. I'm gonna chuck it in here. Oh god, this is gonna go horribly wrong. Well. Just gonna put them for one, just to see how we get on. It's gone down. I think the peanut butter is just gonna run straight through, but you know. Oh, not my toasting. <laughs> <laughs> have a look, have a look. See? I mean, it's not toasting just yet, but we're getting there. I can smell it, but I do think it's, it's like falling out yet because it has to start burning. So don't panic, Nicole. So it's come out on one, it's not very toasty, so I'm gonna put it down for one more. Right, so we're gonna pop it up now. Oh, look at that! I mean, a bit, oh. bit crispy. I'm gonna turn it off. I should oh. be able to get that. Oh, look at that. Put this away. So, first look out of the. Uh, this is somewhat in there. I mean, I don't know what it's gonna be like. Perhaps you should have used sliced bread. Mmm. Look at that. That's good. I bet it could taste like molten lava. I made 30 blows. Just try it, it'll be fun. Hmm. Not bad, Jim. Is it good? Hmm. I try oh. some. You get to try some? Yeah. Go on. Okay, get on. Oh, zoomed in, zoomed up. Like peanut butter and peanut butter and Nutella on top. <laughs> I mean, yeah. So this one has gone somewhat to plan, but I'm not gonna lie. I think it would have been a lot easier just to literally mix it, just um, just just toast your bread and then put it on top. Mm. So. Look, it's nice, but it's a lot of effort. Yeah. Well Especially when you take off all the all the crust and all the stuff. But you may as well just do. Put it on your toast. But yeah, but that's what. So we attempt that one. So we're gonna move on to the next one. Right, so the next thing we're going to be making is the ba 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 baby bell mozzarella sticks. I mean, I guess they're not called mozzarella. The ba 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 baby bell sticks. You know, when they pull it together, it's got all the breadcrumbs on it. That's what we're going to be making. So, what we've got, we've got our flour, our breadcrumbs, and our, we have our egg, which I need to then whisk up. Need a frying pan? Frying pan and some oil. Cool. Go 
We tuck the oil in here. Put it on a low heat. Right, let's just start doing some bop 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 bells. Baby bell into the egg. Take off the the, uh, the wax. <laughs> in the egg ones. Into the flour. Not too much, like when you Not did too that. Much. That's perfect. Yeah, that I made. We tried made some chicken nuggets once before. And I put too much stuff in there. And just put a bit of that on there, though. Could need a bit of that. I think the flour was the thing that made it go wrong, wasn't it? Perfect. That's what it's looking like. So repeat the same process for how many bub 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 bow bells you want to use. So in the egg white, into the flour, back in the egg white, egg white, back in the egg, and then back in the crumbs. I'm hoping these turn out better than than the other the other two experiments we just did. The bread wasn't too bad. The bread wasn't too bad. Yeah, but it wasn't like mind bogging. Like, it wouldn't be like, oh my god, I need to do this <laughs> peanut butter and Nutella thing. Maybe if you again. used thinner bread. A better bread, yeah. I think that's the problem. I think we just didn't like, manage to, to like, sink it properly, did we? So, I'm hoping your brother Ben will be proud of my chefing skills. Do you think he'd give me like a chefing job if I. No. Yeah. What do we think, boys? No. I would, Dad. Thanks, good stuff. On with the first ones. Woo! Woo! Spitting. Woo! <laughs> Jesus. What happened then? Turn it down a bit. <laughs> so, make <laughs> sure. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Just put it on there. Oh, that's so funny. There we go. We've got four baby bells sizzling in the pan. Four fat baby bells sizzling in the pan. And it almost went pop. <laughs> it went pop all over me. Oh, that looks good. Things start going crazy. Be careful, because that fat is, that oil is hot. Not hot and spicy, just hot. Here we come. Big. One. Two. Three. Oh, that's a bit separated. How do they look? Put it pretty good. Dab, dab it down, dab it down, dab, dab. Right, not too much. Just right. Them. Ready for the moment of truth? Why are you using a knife and fork? Because they're going to be hot. And I'm sophisticated. Oh, look at that. Oh. oh. They're good. They actually get the. I'm not saying this. I'm a great cook. Let me try them. Nope. Nicole can be the judge. Judge Nicole. I don't know. like baby bells. Don't taste like a baby bell. Tastes delicious. Oh, look at that. Look at that stringy mm. cheese action. See, it's good, isn't it? Mm. I think that's the best one. I, I'm calling it. I'm calling it. Make these. These are like the best things since sliced Very bread. Stringy. It's nice, isn't it? Mm. Make these best one. So I think I think that's everything. So that's the three the three uh, food hacks which I saw on TikTok and I, I wanted to make. If you see any more that you want me to make, write them in the comments. Please like and subscribe, and uh, have a good day.